Welcome to part one of a pair of videos about using a language called Visual Basic, which you'll find in all the Microsoft Office applications. I'm going to use it in Microsoft Word to create a little game. If when you first launch Word and you've got the uh, Home um, tab selected, you don't see the Developer tab, you can cure that by going into Word Options and making sure that Show Developer tab in the ribbon is ticked. So we make sure that's ticked. Then I can go to the Developer tab and call up Visual Basic. If you want to be pompous, this is an integrated development environment. And I can insert things like forms and put buttons on forms and play around with their properties and make stuff happen. I can also write little bits of code or uh, in, insert little bits of code, which is really the programming bit. So we can play with both the interface, the forms and buttons, and the things that are going to happen, the methods behind the code, uh, which are going to be fun for us. So I'm going to insert a user form. Its properties crop up down here in the properties area. And the first property I want to change is the caption at the top. I want it to say, my simple game. And while we're about it, we'll just change the back colour. I can select palette and select some sort of nice little pale blue. So there's a form. Um, if I want to have a look and see what it looks like, I can run the form and it comes up. It's got nothing in it. It's blank. I can close it and carry on playing with it. Notice that we switch back into Word when we use the Run, either by clicking on that uh, icon there, or by selecting Run from there, or by using the F5 key. And when I close the form, I go back into my Visual Basic Integrated Development Environment, or I'm just going to call it the VB um, Control Panel, if I like. So all I'm going to do next is to run the Toolbox. I need to find the Toolbox icon and run that. A Toolbox pops up and I can find a command button, select that and drag one out on my form. And I can change its position, I can change its size in the normal sorts of way and if I uh, do that I get its code which wasn't quite what I wanted. What I want is to just change its caption and I ought to be able to do that by clicking on the caption but if I can't I can go into the um, command uh, command button property and change the caption to click me because all this game is going to do is to set up a button which runs away when I try to click it. Uh, we can give the button an interesting back colour just to liven everything up. Select palette and we'll make this one pale red and make it a little bit smaller. The caption automatically centers. That's a little bit small so I'm going to select my caption. Got it right this time and I can go into its font property. Those three little dots that crop up when I click in the font property area allow me to call up a little dialog box and I can make it a bit bigger, 14 point. I could change the font if I want to to uh, let's try this little rather vulgar gothic thing and make it look all a bit sort of a juvenile uh, which indeed it is going to be. One last thing about the properties of this button, it's got properties which define its position. Uh, one property is top, that defines how far um, the top is from the top edge. It's not an X and Y coordinate system, it is in a way, but it measures the distance from the top of the form and from the left of the form. If I change the top property to say 100, notice that it goes down because I've increased the number of pixels between the top of the form and the top of the button. I can do something similar with the uh, left property which at the moment is 60, let's reduce that to 10 uh, and hit tab and that moves closer to the left margin. So that's going to be my trick in part 2 is to manipulate the properties uh, so that every time I get anywhere near this little button it's going to move in some random way. But for now why don't you just try to create a form, change its caption, change its colour, add a button, muck around with the properties of the button and see how you get on. 